is all to put in the woods to blow off in Florida. Not because they got the same conflict as UBC got. Thank you, sir. I'm coming in the UDC library right now. I'm expecting to see the uh, deputy uh, librarian, uh, Ms. Sarah Grass. Oh, you, uh, Dean Wells. We're now in the library. Hmm. Please lower your voice. Sarah is working the desk. Oh, this right here is Dean Wells. Uh, she's the, the overseer of the law library. And, uh, Associate Director Grass is working the reference desk. And this is the, the lady that took all the pressure into giving me the, the minimum help, the token help that uh, I've been given here. I come here, you understand, again, requesting the audience with Dean Wells, with uh, Sarah Grass, as well as the acting dean of the university. No, I'm the dean of the law library. Again, I'm asking you understand for an audience with you, with your, you understand, your dean of the school, because you know you're not, you understand, living up to your advertisement as a public university Mr. that accepts walk ins. Mr. Putman, you just walked in the door. How are we not living up to you? Because you are not giving the help that you are claiming that you give. You don't, you don't even offer not a major search engine for a person that needs legal help. Your clinics is a fraud, just like the school. I came here, you understand, more than two months ago, and the police been called on me four times. Two times by none, library personnel. Mr. Putman, are you talking about us or Howard's Law Library where I know that they have called the police on you? We talking about UDC. That's the only reason that intervention was for my behalf was because of a real educator. Her name is Sarah Grass. She's a deputy director of how uh, of a uh, UDC law library, but far as that is, that's far as it go. Mr. Putman, Professor Grass is sitting at the reference desk right now. If you would like to ask her questions, listen, we beyond asking questions because you cannot give me the proper answer, sir. We cannot. You give are you practicing. Questions. You are practicing violation of the First and the Fifth Amendment. Sir, we can't of the United you, States of America. We cannot give you legal advice is what we cannot do. And I, I have not asked near one of y'all for legal advice because I done got here from this book that I have in my backpack. It's the rules. It's the federal judicial rules and procedure. And I'm challenging the First Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Fourteenth Amendment, Listen, this whole judiciary system is a fraud, and these law schools are definitely frauds like that. The real private law schools let you know that they are private. Mr. Putman. And they're not taking no money from the government. Professor Grass is sitting at the reference desk if you have a question for her related to legal research. You know, my question is, I need an audience with you Ms. Grass, you have spoken and with the deans, and with the dean of this law school, because a dean called the police on me, and now you're saying that uh, uh, Dean Harris is not a dean. Yeah, 
Mr. Harris is not a D. Well, what is his position? He's the building manager. The building manager called the police. The circulation, you understand, personnel called the police. Listen, this is, this is all a fraud. And like, you know, somebody gonna have to help me with this here, you know, because you're getting too many hundreds of millions of dollars from the government that you cannot have no help Mr. Putman, with offsetting the government. You are in the law library. Please lower your voice. I'm going to go up and see if Dean Burton is actually available right now. I'll be back in a minute. Well, you heard that. Now, you, you live. You live. So everybody on the Internet heard, you, heard the same thing. Yes, sir. I know. know. I know you're recording. No, I'm not recording. I'm streaming the web right now. I understand that. Okay. I understand. Thank you. I'm waiting on Dean Walls to come back. I guess you heard that uh, I cannot talk because this is a library and I just got through out of the Howard library because there was so much chatter in the library. Listen, this whole thing is a fraud. Washington is a fraud. Due process. You got so many racists, you understand, people that works for these, 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 these law schools. And they quick to tell you that they're a lawyer, you know. I haven't ran one yet to stand beside me upholding the Constitution of the United States of America. Not one lawyer. You want to know about the secret society? The one percenters. And if you don't know who the one percenters is, you done already lost. They the rich, filthy rich, corrupt, super corrupt, super thieves, Jews. One percenters. Washington have fleeced America for too long. And you never know it because you see it on TV. As the president say, fake news, cause it is fake news. Because if folks don't tell you, we understand, you know, run with that. It's gonna be suppressed and covered up. Just like these 10 documents that I brought from South Florida with me about the ex-governor, now junior senator for the state of Florida, Rick Scott, thief, super thief, master thief. I've been up here for 10 months on the streets, sleeping in hypothermia facilities to keep from freezing to death on the street for due process. Every legal entity that falls up under the 501c3 tax exempt are all frauds. Frauds they are. <clears throat> this is really bad that you go to a law school and cannot get no help. A uh, Mr. John Jensen sitting over there at the circulator's desk. One of the good old boys. This is Arthur Putman whistleblower. Yeah, who are you? I'm Dean Adams. Oh. 
I presently understand, you know, is in the presence of Dean Adams. And Dean Adams... I would be uh, an academic dean. I'm not the dean. Dean Britton's not in his office, so... Um, Dean Will asked that I come down and talk to you. I don't know why. For, oh, she said you asked why. for a dean. You know, I don't know why. Oh, okay. You know, well, you know, we on the internet, so let's, let's, okay. let's, let's get your best picture. Okay. You know, let's, <laughs> let's, know. Yeah, let's get your best that picture. That would have dressed up a little bit more. Um, if we can talk. You and I? Or if we all want to talk okay. further, we can go in room 115 okay. so that we're not disrupting. Oh, is it loud? Okay. Okay. Do you want to go in there, or do you want to stay up here? You know, I'm, I'm not trying to interrupt the orderly running of this library. You know, I'm trying to get something from the library. Okay. You know, so wherever you all suggest, you know, that we talk, okay, well, you know. And again, this is Ms. Uh, uh, Sarah Grass, and she's the only one that believes in the Constitution here. They have put so much pressure on this woman because I'm the first walk in. <laughs> well, I'm still streaming the net, you know, so uh, I want everybody to know, you know. Again. So I'm happy to talk to you about you recorded, but I'm happy to talk to you. But we don't want to be recorded. I'll honor that. Okay, thank and, you. And uh, I'll turn it off. Okay, thank you. But please, have something to say, you understand, when I turn it off. Okay. 